नमस्कार दिस इज फर्स्ट पोस्ट एंड यू वॉचिंग वैंटेज विद मी पलकी शर्मा In a couple of weeks from now the Ukraine war will complete one year. President Zelensky is touring Europe asking for more weapons. But Europeans are dealing with a bombshell, yet another revelation that the White House was quick to deny and the Western press doesn't really want to talk about. Did America bomb the Nord Stream pipelines? Russia wants a probe, but who is listening? We bring you the details of the investigation that could change the course of this war. Meanwhile Turkey is picking up the pieces 15000 dead and counting President Erdogan is on the back foot he has publicly snubbed Pakistan the Pakistani prime minister wanted to visit Turkey said don't come but why did he want to go at a time like this we'll tell you about it also why disney is firing 7000 people is it the end of the streaming boom it's an action packed thursday the headlines first Trade chips balloons America and China are fighting over everything it seems US President Biden said Chinese leader Xi Jinping faces quote and quote enormous problems China calls the remarks and I'm quoting extremely irresponsible and counter to basic diplomatic etiquette North Korea's Kim Jong Un shows off his daughter and his nukes the largest number of nuclear missiles were displayed at a military parade including more than 10 Hwasong 17 intercontinental ballistic missiles capable of striking the US mainland Russia's private army the Wagner mercenary group says it has ended its recruitment drive at Russian prisons reports say the prisoners were promised amnesty on their return to Russia if they survive the war in Ukraine Pakistan says it will have a bailout deal today a deal worth 7 billion dollars finance minister Ishak Dar says matters between the government and the international monetary fund will be settled by today and one more chatbot is entering the fray chinese tech giant alibaba says it's developing its own artificial intelligence tool joining the race with another chinese giant baidu and google's bard so where are you investing oh, china it's just growing It's always been the manufacturing hub. Besides, India is struggling post COVID. <laughs> of course. <clears throat> Sir, actually India's management of COVID has been much better. China's situation till date is unclear. After zero COVID lockdowns, China is gradually losing its supremacy as manufacturing leader. The country's share of global exports of footwear, furniture, or clothing accessories has fallen since 2016. Meanwhile, India has bounced back. So by the looks of it India could become the global manufacturing hub by 2030 presenting vantage with me Palki Sharma a first of its kind global show with an indian perspective 